I am ready to receive instruction from the realm of creation above me for the sandwich I am about to conceive. I am open. Use me. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a stab at Jake's perfect sandwich from Adventure Time, which, of course, starts with a steak sous vide. So we've got a nice boneless ribeye here that we're going to salt and pepper before placing into our vacuum-sealed bag with both thyme and rosemary. I'm going to distribute those on each side of the steak. We're going to vacuum seal it and place it into a 135-degree sous vide. Normally, I'd want to go for more like 115, but hey, Jake's the sandwich expert, not me. About the only birds that I'm going to be able to find to eat in New York City are pigeons, and I'm I'm not gonna eat those. So I've got a Cornish game hen here that I'm going to debone and broil so we can put it on the sandwich and eat the entire thing whole. Deboning a whole chicken is hard, but deboning a Cornish game hen is more like surgery. I do not recommend anybody ever try doing this ever. If you're gonna try this at home, just use a couple chicken thighs or something. Next up, we have the interesting challenge of how to tackle lobster sole. I would imagine that lobster sole is a pretty mellow lobster flavor, so to me that meant making lobster aioli. Lobster sole aioli. Lobster solely, whatever. Break up the shell of one lobster tail and cover with vegetable oil before blending into little pieces and simmering for about 45 minutes on the stove top until you are greeted with lobster flavored oil. This has lots and lots of delicious applications, but we're gonna use it to make a sort of lobster mayo. So we're gonna squeeze a lemon into three egg yolks, blend to combine, and once the oil is cooled, we're going to drizzle it gently down the side of the cup until it settles on top, and then blend on high speed until we get a nice creamy lobster solioli. There is of course bacon on this sandwich, and I roast my bacon in the oven so I can render all the fat, and now I get to brush it on top of our Cornish game hen that I'm going to throw under the broiler for about 10 minutes or until browned and cooked through. Some sweet onions play two roles here, both as a sandwich topping and as a way to try and elicit some tears for salt. So I'm going to rub a bunch of stingy stuff in my eyes until, finally, I yield a drop of salty face water. We're finally getting ready to assemble our sandwich, so we're going to torch our sous vide steak so it's got a little bit of color on it and isn't so gray and nasty. And keep your torch handy because we're going to slice open our massive loaf of bread and hit that with the torch as well. I don't really recommend this. It was not an efficient way to toast the bread. I would just throw it in the oven, but it was kind of fun to do until my torch ran out of fuel. Spread both sides of the bread with cream cheese before slicing up some dill pickles and shingling them on one side of the sandwich while picking some fresh dill and sprinkling that over the other side of the sandwich. Some chopped up hard-boiled eggs, our quote-unquote bird from the window, some common cucumbers sliced thinly, sweet yellow onion, sliced Roma tomatoes, and now the tricky part, laying our steak on top, this thing's starting to get a little precarious, some real teardrops for salt, not totally necessary, but I'm a completist, and then our lobster solioli, and of course about a half pound of bacon. At long last, it's time to finally top up our sandwich, squish it down, and achieve maybe the greatest cross-section in the history of this show. You can't hear me, but I'm giggling like a little girl right now because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna actually take a bite of this thing. It's not exactly physically possible, but I'm no quitter, so I'm going to slice off sort of a piece of this sandwich and try to roll it into a shape that I can fit in my face. Now, I was a little stunned by my first bite. It was a lot of flavors and textures all happening at once, but it was a pretty damn good sandwich. For dinner that night, I took it apart and ate it in pieces like a four-course meal. 